Welcome to Indian Nerd Math channel. In this video, I will discuss about the two types of natural numbers, namely the prime and composite numbers. So if you want to learn more about them, just keep on watching. Before we proceed to the definitions and examples of prime and composite numbers, it is important that we know first the concept of factors which will be a keyword to the definition of prime and composite numbers. What are factors? Factors are numbers we can multiply together to get a product and are numbers that divide another number exactly or without remainder. Therefore, factors have something to do with multiplication and division. Let's say we have a given equation 1 times 2 is equal to 2. From the first definition of factors, we can say that 1 and 2 are factors of 2, since these are two numbers that when we multiply together will produce a product of 2. Whereas, based on the second definition, 1 and 2 are also factors of 2, since when we divide 2 by 1, we get an exact answer of 2, as well as when we divide 2 by 2, we get an exact answer of 1. We therefore conclude that in determining or finding the factors of a number, we can automatically list the number itself and 1 as its factor, since any number divided by itself will be 1. Also. Any number divided by 1 is also a number. We can also therefore conclude that 1 is a factor of every number. For example, 4 has an automatic factors of 1 and 4. For 5, it has an automatic factor of 1 and 5. Depending on the numbers, Sometimes, they can have more than two factors other than one in itself. For example, 6. We can list the factors of 6 as 1 and 6 since we say that a number has the automatic factors of 1 in itself. But other than 1 and 6, can you think of another factors for 6? Yes. 2 and 3. So can you think of another factors for 6? So that's all. So therefore, the factors of 6 are 1, 2, 3, and 6. 2 and 3 are also factors of 6 since when we multiply 2 by 3, we will have a product of 6. As well as when we divide 6 by 2, we get an exact answer of 3. And when we divide 6 by 3, we get an exact answer of 2. Now that we know the concept of factors, we can now proceed to the definitions of prime and composite numbers. Let's start with the definition of prime numbers. Prime numbers are numbers that have only two factors, one in itself. So can you think of the numbers that are prime? So we have 2, 3, 5, 7, etc. So these numbers are prime because they only have two factors, one in itself. So 2 has factors of 1 and 2, 3 has factors of 1 and 3, 5 has factors of 1 and 5, and 7 has factors of 1 and 7 only. Now, 
Let's proceed to the second type of natural numbers, the composite numbers. Composite numbers, on the other hand, are numbers that have more than two factors, other than one in itself. So can you think of numbers that are composite? So we already know that 6 is a composite number since it has factors of 1, 2, 3, and 6. Can you think of another composite number? 8 is also a composite number since its factors are 1, 2, 4, and 8. How about 10? Yes, 10 is also a composite number since its factors are 1, 2, 5, and 10. We now know the difference between the prime and composite numbers. Prime numbers are numbers that have only two factors, one in itself, while composite numbers are numbers that have more than two factors other than one in itself. Now, I will give you a challenge and I will ask you to think of the numbers from 1 to 100 that are prime and composite. So you can pause this video and list down all the numbers from 1 to 100 that are prime and all the numbers that are composite. And later, I will give you the answer. Okay. I will now show you a list of numbers from 1 to 100. So, on the numbers that are shown, 1 to 100, all the encircled numbers are prime. And all the non-encircled numbers are the composite. Did you get it right? Very good. Take note that I did not encircle number 1 to be a prime number because as a rule, we must always remember that 1 is not a prime number because prime numbers must be greater than 1 so the smallest prime number is 2.